Hello everyone! Welcome to the video course English File Pro Intermediate 4th Edition, lesson number 35, Unit 10, Part C. It's called International Inventions. In this series of videos, I'm helping you go through this wonderful textbook, English File. There are four parts in today's lesson. Vocabulary and pronunciation is the first part. People from different countries. Here you're going to learn some words that you can use to name people from different countries. The Americans live in the USA. Or, for example, the English like drinking tea. Hmm. It is followed by the grammar part where we are going to look at the passives. I grow vegetables in my garden. Or I can say vegetables are grown in my garden. I do a lot of things every day. Or a lot of things are done by me every day. I think you know the passives. They are not difficult to form. At the same time, they are really useful. Part 3. Speaking. But I need to warn you, it will be rather grammar exercises with a little bit of speaking, because we have a video format. It's impossible to adapt some of the tasks. And finally, as you see, part 4 is video listening. In the video, there will be some interesting facts about inventions. Before we start, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who is supporting my channel. And remember, these lessons are available only because of you. So, if you want to see more episodes, please join my Boosty or use the Nation Alerts. You can find all the links in the description. Check my Telegram channel, VK public group and subscribe. It's very important. Let's get started. Part A. What are the nationality adjectives for these countries? What do the first group have in common? Hmm. You see the first group, the United States, Belgium, Italy. And number two, China, Switzerland, France, the Netherlands, England and Spain. You need to form the nationality adjectives from these words. Let me give you an example. The United States. It will be American. China. It will be Chinese. Can you continue this list on your own? Now let's check the answers. The United States, American, Belgium, Belgian, Italy, Italian. What do they have in common? All end in AN. Group number two, China, Chinese, Switzerland, Swiss, France, French, the Netherlands, Dutch, England, English, Spain, Spanish. Now revise these words one more time or try to learn them, especially the Netherlands and Dutch. Let's read this info box, talking about people from different countries. We usually use the plus nationality adjective plus ending s to talk about the people from a country. For example, the Americans the Belgians, etc. If the nationality adjectives ends with s, z, sh, or ch, we don't add s. For example, the English, the Chinese, the Dutch, etc. For some countries, there is a special word for the people. For example, Poland, the Poles, Turkey, the Turks, just try to memorize it. And that's all. And part B. Read the information box and complete the chart. We have already read the information box. What about completing the chart? Here you have some words that are name of the countries, or of some countries, nat nationality adjective, the second column, and people from that country, the third column. You do it like this. England, nationality adjective, English, 
people from that country, the English. Brazil, nationality adjective. Brazilian, people from that country, the Brazilians. Try to do the others, then check yourself. Ten point ten. One. England. English. The English. Two. Brazil. Brazilian. The Brazilians. Three. Russia. Russian. The Russians. Four. Turkey. Turkish. The Turks. Five. Argentina. Argentinian. The Argentinians. Six. Poland. Polish. The Poles. Seven. Japan. Japanese. The Japanese. Eight. Spain. Spanish. The Spanish. Pardi. Listen and repeat the words and sounds. Just practice. Ten point eleven. A. Shower. Sh. B. Chess. Ch. C. Jazz. J. Party. What sound do the pink letters make? A, B, or C? Listen and check. Practice saying the sentences. We have three sounds. So the sound A, sh, the sound B, ch, the sound C, j. You do it like this. You do it like this. You read. It's a Chinese invention. So, Chinese, the sound ch, or the letter B, invention, the sound sh, or the letter A. So you put it. It's a Chinese invention. You put it. You put. There B and A. Try to do the others. Ten point twelve. One. It's a Chinese invention. Two. I love French cheese and Spanish wine. Three. He has a Japanese watch. Four. It's a German technology company. Five. He's a Belgian musician. Now, part number two: grammar, the passive. In small groups, try to complete the sentences with the things in the forties, or that, the things in the list: CDs, dynamite, glasses, guns, the hot air balloon, Lego, the mobile phone, the saxophone, stamps, the wristwatch. You see, for example, the thirteenth century were invented by the Chinese. Or were invented by the Italians. If you're wondering right now, how on earth should I know that? You just try to guess. Yeah, it's a guessing task. First, try to fill the gaps, then listen and check your ideas. If you could guess two or three or four things, that's nice. Why not? Because you can't know 
everything for sure is impossible, just do it for fun. Ten point thirteen. The thirteenth century. Guns were invented by the Chinese. The first guns were quite large, like small cannons. The oldest gun that still exists today was made in about twelve eighty. Glasses were invented by the Italians in about twelve eighty six. Sunglasses were invented even earlier, in the twelfth century. The eighteenth century. The hot air balloon was invented by two French brothers, Joseph and Jacques Montgolfier. The first flight with people was in seventeen eighty-three, and the balloon flew three kilometers over Paris. The nineteenth century. Stamps were invented by an English teacher, Roland Hill. The first stamp from eighteen forty was called the penny black. And it showed the head of the young Queen Victoria. The saxophone was invented by a Belgian musician in 1846. His name was Adolf Sax. Saxophones were first used mainly in military bands, but are now used in all kinds of music. Dynamite was invented by a Swedish scientist called Alfred Nobel. The Nobel Prize is named after him. Since its invention, it has been used all over the world for demolition, for making tunnels, cutting canals, and building railways. The wristwatch was invented by the Swiss. The first one was made for a Hungarian countess by Patek Philippe in 1868, a company which still makes luxury watches today. The twentieth century. The mobile phone was invented by the Americans. It was first produced by the company Motorola. On the third of April, nineteen seventy-three, Martin Cooper, a Motorola researcher and executive, made the first mobile telephone call. His phone weighed one point one kilograms. Lego was invented by a Danish businessman, Ola Kirk Christiansen. The name Lego comes from the Danish phrase "legot," which means "play well." Twenty billion pieces of Lego are produced every year. CDs were invented by a Dutch company, Philips. Sony also worked on CDs, and they were designed to play seventy-four minutes of music, because that was the length of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, the Sony boss's favorite piece of music. Now, Part C. Listen again. Write down one other piece of information about each invention. This task is optional. You can skip it, of course, but it's better to do it. You take a piece of paper and try to write at least one fact about each invention, or some, you know, additional information that you heard in the audio. Then you can ask、mm, how to check my ideas. You can check it by looking at audio script that is going to appear. After the audio, and it will be the answer key to this task. Good luck. Ten point thirteen. The thirteenth century. Guns were invented by the Chinese. The first guns were quite large, like small cannons. The oldest gun that still exists today was made in about twelve eighty. Glasses were invented by the Italians in about twelve eighty six. Sunglasses were invented even earlier, in the twelfth century. The eighteenth century. The hot air balloon was invented by two French brothers, Joseph and Jacques Montgolfier. The first flight with people was in seventeen eighty-three, and the balloon flew three kilometers over Paris. The nineteenth century. Stamps were invented by an English teacher, Roland Hill. 
The first stamp, from 1840, was called the Penny Black, and it showed the head of the young Queen Victoria. The saxophone was invented by a Belgian musician in 1846. His name was Adolf Sax. Saxophones were first used mainly in military bands, but are now used in all kinds of music. Dynamite was invented by a Swedish scientist called Alfred Nobel. The Nobel Prize is named after him. Since its invention, it has been used all over the world for demolition, for making tunnels, cutting canals and building railways. The wristwatch was invented by the Swiss. The first one was made for a Hungarian countess by Patek Philippe in 1868, a company which still makes luxury watches today. The 20th century The mobile phone was invented by the Americans. It was first produced by the company Motorola. On the 3rd of April 1973, Martin Cooper, a Motorola researcher and executive, made the first mobile telephone call. His phone weighed 1.1 kilograms. Lego was invented by a Danish businessman, Ola Kirk Christiansen. The name Lego comes from the Danish phrase legot, which means play well. Twenty billion pieces of Lego are produced every year. CDs were invented by a Dutch company, Philips. Sony also worked on CDs, and they were designed to play 74 minutes of music because that was the length of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, the Sony boss's favourite piece of music. Теперь переводим. 13 век. Пистолеты были изобретены китайцами. Первые пистолеты были довольно большими, очень похожие на маленькие пушки. Кеннон – это пушка, которая стреляет ядрами. Старейший пистолет все еще существует сегодня, ну, который все еще существует сегодня, был сделан, получается, 1280 в 1280 году. Дальше. Очки были изобретены итальянцами около в 1286 году. Солнечные очки были изобретены даже раньше, в 12 веке. Тут у нас, получается, идет 18 век. The hot air balloon – это воздушный шар, наполненный горячим воздухом, летающий, был изобретен двумя французскими братьями. Это их имена – и первый полет с людьми был, все, получается, в 1783. И воздушный шар пролетел 3 километра над Парижем. Дальше. 19 век. Почтовые марки были изобретены, получается, by an, by an English teacher. Так понимаю, что это учителем англичанином. Но это его имя. И первая почтовая марка from 1840, с 1840 года, называлось, это просто название первой почтовой марки, Penny Black. И это показывало голову молодой королевы Виктории. Дальше у нас. Саксофон был запретен бельгийским музыкантом в 1846 году. Его имя было Адольф Сакс. Саксофоны э, были сначала использовались в основном... In military bands – это в музыкальных группах, посвященной военной тематике. Ну или просто для, короче, для оркестров, для военных. Но теперь они используются во всех видах музыки. Дальше. Динамит был изобретен шведским ученым 
по имени Альфред Нобел. И Нобелевская премия и названа э, в честь него. Вот эта фраза «to be named after someone» — это быть названным в честь кого-то. Since its invention, значит, с самого начала или с самого изобретения, теперь это используется по всему миру для demolition, это у нас разрушение зданий, для того, чтобы создать туннели, получается, завалить каналы, это водные каналы перекрыть чем-то, и для строительства железных дорог. Такой вот у нас динамит. Дальше у нас теперь наручные часы были, э, ну, наручные часы был изобретен, э, получается, швейцарцами. Э, тут в чем проблема? В русском языке это слово всегда во множественном числе часы наручные. В английском это же единственное число, поэтому тут немножко с переводом трудновато. Ну ладно. То есть первые часы, э, получается, были сделаны для венгерской, ну это как сказать дворянки, пускай для венгерской дворянки, вот этим человеком в 1868 году. Компания, которая все еще выпускает лакшери, ну это сегмент лакшери, то есть для богатых часы сегодня. То есть эта компания до сих пор существует, которая сделала первые часы наручные. Отлично. Идем дальше. 20 век. Мобильный телефон был изобретен американцами. Это было впервые произведено компанией Motorola. И получается 3 апреля 1973 году Мартин Купер, получается Motorola Researcher and Executive, если не ошибаюсь, это он и ученый в этой компании, и исполняющий обязанности директора исполнительный, сделал первый мобильный телефонный звонок. Его телефон весил, получается, 1.1 kilos. То есть имеется в виду 1 килограмм и 100 грамм. Такой вот первый телефон. Дальше. Лего было изобретено, получается, датским бизнесменом. Это его имя. Имя Лего происходит из датской фразы, это вот фраза по-датски, которая обозначает play well, то есть играй хорошо. Получается, 20 миллиардов кусочков Лего или деталек Лего производится каждый год. Так, дальше. CD-диски были изобретены голландской компанией Philips. Sony также работала над CD-дисками. And they were designed... Ну, тут можно дословно перевести, но не совсем дословно. И они были устроены таким образом, чтобы они могли играть, получается, 74 minutes, 74 минуты музыки. Потому что это была длина, получается, девятой бит... симфонии Бетховена. А босс компании Sony любил вот эту вот симфонию. То есть это его была любимая музыка. Вот такое вот аудио. Ну что ж, надеюсь, теперь стало понятней. Идем дальше. Part D. Make five true sentences using the words in the chart. Glasses were invented in about 1286. Try to do the other four sentences, then check yourself. Part E. Look at the two sentences below and answer the questions. Sentence A. The Swiss invented the watch. Sentence B. The watch was invented by the Swiss. Question number one. Do the sentences mean the same thing or different? Number two. In which sentence is a focus more on the watch? Number three. In which sentence is a focus more on the Swiss? Try to use your language intuition, and then check yourself. Part 
Okay, let's see. Do the sentences mean the same thing? Yes, they do. The meaning is the same. No difference. In which sentence is the focus more on the watch? Sentence B. The watch was invented by the Swiss. In which sentence is the focus more on the Swiss? Sentence A. The Swiss invented the watch. That was a warming up exercise. Now let's move on to the main part. Listen to the examples given here. 10.14 20 billion pieces of Lego are produced every year. CDs aren't used very much nowadays. Is Spanish spoken in New Mexico? The hot air balloon was invented by two Frenchmen. Stamps weren't invented until 1840. When was the watch invented? Part then see the passive B plus past participle. We can often say things in two ways. Ways, yeah? in the active or in the passive. Alfred Nobel invented dynamite. Active. Dynamite was invented by Alfred Nobel. Passive. In the active sentence, the focus is more on Alfred Nobel. In the passive sentence, the focus is more on dynamite. We often use the passive when it's when it's known or it isn't important who does or did the action. My car was stolen last week. Volvo cars are made in Sweden. We use by to say who did the action. The Lord of the Rings was written by Tolkien. Look, I hope you got the idea how to form them. Present passive, yeah, present simple passive. Am is are plus past participle. And past was the plus past participle. Now let's do some practical things. Exercise A. Complete with the present or past passive. The Eiffel Tower was completed in 1889. Or many of the things we use every day were invented by women. Or part B. Rewrite the sentences in the passive, beginning with the highlighted words. It's a very interesting exercise. Shakespeare wrote Hamlet in 1603. Hamlet was written by Shakespeare in 1603. Christopher Wren designed St. Paul's Cathedral, or St. Paul's Cathedral was designed by Christopher Wren. I hope you got the idea how to do it. Now try to do it, then check yourself. Now let's do these two exercises. If you get the idea how to do it, it will be very easy. But let's see. The Eiffel Tower was completed in 1889. Number one. Many of the things we use every day were invented by women. Number two. In the UK, most children are educated in state schools. It means like present situation. DNA. Hmm. Discover. It's about the past. DNA was discovered by Watson and Crick in 1953. Number four. This morning I. Hmm. It's about the past. I was woken up by the neighbor's dog. Yeah. Wake, woke, woken. Number five, crickets in the summer in the UK. I think it's the present situation. Crickets, it is it. It is played in the summer in the UK. Number six, the songs on this album from last year. It's about the past. Songs they 
they were written last year. So remember, write, wrote, written. Number seven. Millions of toys are made in China every year. It's the present situation. Number eight. Carols are songs, or carols, sorry, I can't remember how to pronounce it, are songs which are sung at Christmas. Sing, sang, sung. Yeah? This one. Number nine. These birds, hmm, it's the present situation, I think, aren't usually seen in Northern Europe. Aren't usually seen in Northern Europe. Yeah. Number 10. The London Eye, hmm, it's about the past, was opened here on the 31st of December 1999 to celebrate the new millennium, uh, like new 1000 years here. Okay, so that was the first exercise. Let's see the second one. Rewrite the sentences in the passive beginning with highlighted words. Yeah, we need uh, some something extra to write it down because here, as you see, there is there is no space to write. So Shakespeare wrote Hamlet in 1603. Hamlet was written by Shakespeare in 1603. Number one, Christopher Wren designed Saint Paul's Cathedral. So we write Saint Paul's Cathedral was designed Christopher Wren. Yeah, number two. A small Italian company produces this olive oil. So this olive oil is produced by <clears throat> a small Italian company. Yeah, number three. The Russians discovered Antarctica in 1820. So, Antarctica was discovered by Russians or by the Russians in 1820. Number four. Spielsbergs didn't direct the Star Wars films, though the Star Wars films weren't directed by Spielberg. Number five. Van Gogh. Ah, sorry. No, no, no. Van Gogh painted sunflowers in 1888. Look, sunflowers is just a picture. It's the name of a picture. So it's work like a pronoun it. So sunflowers picture was painted by Van Gogh in 1888. Number six. The Chinese didn't invent glass. So glass. And remember that glass is uncountable. Glass, it's a material. Glass uh, wasn't invented by the, uh, the Chinese. Oh, here. Awesome. Let's put it like this. Number seven. J.K. Rowling wrote the Harry Potter books. So, the Harry Potter books were written yeah, by J.K. Rowling. Number eight. They make Škoda cars in the Czech Republic. So, Škoda cars are made, or well, cards, not cards, cars, uh, are made in the Czech Republic. Hmm. Now that's all for the second exercise. Now let's read the answers, the answer keys. So, the Eiffel Tower was completed in 1889. 
Many of the things we use every day were invented by women. In the UK, most children are educated in state schools. DNA was discovered by Watson and Crick in 1953. This morning, I was woken up by the neighbor's dog. Cricket is played in the summer in the UK. The songs in this album were written last year. Millions of toys are made in China every year. Carols are songs which are sung at Christmas. These birds aren't usually seen in Northern Europe. The London Eye was opened on 31st of December 1999 to celebrate the new millennium. St. Paul's Cathedral was designed by Christopher Wren. This olive oil is produced by a small Italian company. Antarctica was discovered by the Russians in 1820. The Star Wars films weren't directed by Spielberg. Sunflowers was painted by Van Gogh in 1888. Glass wasn't invented by the Chinese. The Harry Potter books were written by J.K. Rowling. And Skoda cars are made in the Czech Republic. So that's all for these exercises. Let's move on. Speaking. Communication. Passive quiz. Make sentences for your partner. Look, first I will delete the options or the answers here not, uh, in order not to distract you from the task. First, try to complete these kind of sentences or questions. Like you see, number one. Until 1664, New York hmm, was called here. Or the Lord of the Ring films were directed by and the person. First, try to do the grammar and only then you will see some options and you will try to guess the correct answer. After that, you can have a chance to check your ideas. This task is about general knowledge. You can't know everything for sure. Just see it as a challenge, okay? And some additional practice of forming the passes. Good luck with it. Number one. Until 1664, New York was called New Amsterdam, New Hampshire, New Liberty. Number two. The Lord of the Rings films were directed by Ridley Scott, James Cameron, Peter Jackson. Number three. The noun which is used most frequently in conversation is money, time, work. Number four. Penguins are found at the South Pole, at the North Pole, in Alaska. Number five. The Italian flag was designed by Garibaldi, Mussolini, Napoleon. Number six. The first mobile phones were sold in 1963, 1973, 1983. Number seven. The British politician Winston Churchill was born on a train, in a toilet, under a bridge. Number eight. The Statue of Liberty was given to the United States by Germany, the UK, France. Now try to complete the quiz and then look at the answers. Number 1. Until 1664, New York was called New Amsterdam. Number 2. The Lord of the Rings films were directed by Peter Jackson. Number 3. 
The noun which is used most frequently in conversation is time. Number four. Penguins are found at the South Pole. Number five. The Italian flag was designed by Napoleon. Number six. The first mobile phones were sold in 1983. Number seven. The British politician Winston Churchill was born in a toilet. And number eight. The Statue of Liberty was given to the United States by France. The second quiz. Number one. The smartphone was invented by Apple, Nokia, IBM. Number two. Star Wars was created by George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, Stanley Kubrick. Number three. The book which is stolen most often from libraries is The Bible, The Guinness Book of Records, The Lord of the Rings. Number four. In the world, 16,000 babies are born every second, every hour, every day. Number five. Chess was invented by the Egyptians, the Indians, the Chinese. Number six. The first Skype call was made in 1993, 2003, 2013. Number seven. Football was first played by the British, the Romans, the Greeks. Number eight. In 1962, the original London Bridge was bought by a rich American, a museum, the royal family. Now try to complete this quiz and then check your answers. Number 1. The smartphone was invented by IBM. Number 2. Star Wars was created by George Lucas. Number 3. The book which is stolen most often from libraries is the Guinness Book of Records. Number 4. In the world, 16,000 babies are born every hour. Number 5. Chess was invented by the Chinese. Number 6. The first Skype call was made in 2003. Number 7. Football was first played by the British. Number 8. In 1962, the original London Bridge was bought by a rich American. Before we move on, study or revise the following vocabulary. A dishwasher. Посудомоечная машина. A disposable nappy. Одноразовый подгузник. Windscreen wipers. Стеклоочистители. A lipstick. Губная помада. The life raft. Надувной спасательный плод. Solar heating. Система солнечного обогрева. Solar. Солнечный. A washing machine. Стиральная машина. CCTV. Камера наружного наблюдения. Tides. Колготки. Science. Наука. Inventor. Изобретатель. Definitely. Определенно. Точно. Improve. Улучшить. Cotton. Хлопок. Biodegradable. Биоразлагаемый. Annoyed. Раздражен, раздражена. Do the washing up. Отмыть кухню после готовки, посуда и тому подобное. Trip. Поездка. Notice. Заметить. Entry. Вход, входная дверь, подъезд. Neighborhood. Район. Push a button. 
нажать на кнопку. Accidents – аварии, несчастные случаи. Alongside – наряду с чем-то. Sink – sank, sunk – тонуть. To be designed – быть спроектированным, разработанным. Nickname – кличка. To heat – нагревать. Heat – существительное жара, тепло. Environment – окружающая среда. Moving on to the part 4. Video listening. The first task is very simple. You watch the video and then you name six things from this list that were invented by women. Good luck with it. Hello and welcome to Science Now. When we think of famous inventors, we often think of men like Alexander Graham Bell, Guglielmo Marconi, and Thomas Edison. But many of the things which make our lives easier or safer today were invented by women. And on today's show, we're going to look at six of them. One invention that definitely improved the lives of millions of people was the disposable nappy. They were invented by a woman called Marion Donovan. Her father and uncle were inventors and, when she had young children, she invented a nappy that you could use and then throw away. Before her invention, babies wore nappies made of cotton, like these. And this meant a lot of washing. Although she invented the disposable nappy in the 1940s, it wasn't until 1951 that an American company bought Donovan's idea. Today, millions of disposable nappies are used every day, and Donovan's invention is now more eco-friendly. You can buy biodegradable nappies. And now another invention which has made life easier. The dishwasher was invented by a woman called Josephine Cochran in 1886. She was a rich American who gave a lot of dinner parties, but she was annoyed that her servants often broke plates and glasses when they were washing up after a party. Oops. So, Cochrane decided to invent a machine which could wash a lot of plates and glasses safely. She said, if nobody else is going to invent a dishwasher, then I will. She designed the machine and then she found a company to make it. At first, only hotels and restaurants bought Cochrane's new machine. But today, the dishwasher is used in homes all over the world. The car was invented by a man, but it was a woman, Mary Anderson, who solved one of the biggest problems of driving. On a trip to New York in 1903, Anderson noticed that drivers had to open their windows to see where they were going when it was raining. When she returned to her home in Alabama, she invented windscreen wipers, which made driving a lot safer. Our fourth invention made life safer for people living in flats or apartments. Video entry phones. They were invented in 1966 by Marie Van Britten Brown, a nurse who lived in New York. Her neighborhood was quite dangerous and Brown was often at home alone. So she decided to invent something that would make her feel safer. With the help of her husband, an electrician, she developed a camera that you could put by the front door. This camera sent a picture of the person at the door to a screen inside the flat. And there was also a microphone so you could talk to the person outside. 
If the person was a welcome visitor, you pushed a button to let them in. If not, you could push another button to contact a security company. This system is now common all over the world. And now an invention that has saved a lot of lives. The modern life raft was invented by Maria Beasley in 1880 and then improved in 1882. Before her invention, life rafts were just wooden platforms and many people died in accidents at sea. Four of her life rafts were used on the Titanic alongside the ship's normal lifeboats. When the Titanic sank in 1912, only 706 people survived and nearly 200 of them were in the life rafts designed by Beasley. Our last invention is one of today's most important green technologies. Maria Telkes, a Hungarian-American scientist, worked at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the United States in the 1940s. She was so interested in the power of the sun that her nickname was the Sun Queen. In 1948, she designed the first house which was heated completely by the sun. The system worked for three years. The solar technology we use today is very different from Telkish's invention, but like all our female inventors, she showed the world what was possible. And today, solar technology has the power to change our lives and save our environment. Part C. Watch again and answer the questions. Now we have a lot of questions to answer. Let's do it like this. Let's read them very slowly. Let's understand each question here. And after that, you will watch the video again and check your ideas. Number 1. Marion Donovan, 1917-1998. What did her father and uncle do? What were nappies made of before? What happened to her invention in 1951? Number 2. Josephine Cochrane, 1839-1913 What often happened after her dinner parties? Who were the first customers for her invention? Number 3. Mary Anderson, 1866-1953 when and where did she get the idea for her invention? What did drivers have to do at that time when it was raining? Number 4. Mary von Britten Brown, 1922-1999 What was her job? What kind of neighborhood did she live in? Who helped her with her invention? What could you do if you saw an unwelcome stranger at the door. Number 5. Maria Beasley, 1847-1904. Which famous ship were her inventions used on? How many survivors had used her invention? Number 6. Maria Telx, 1900-1995. What nationality was she? What was her nickname? What did she design in 1948? Now watch the video and answer these questions. Hello and welcome to Science Now. When we think of famous inventors, we often think of men. 
like Alexander Graham Bell, Guglielmo Marconi, and Thomas Edison. But many of the things which make our lives easier or safer today were invented by women. And on today's show, we're going to look at six of them. One invention that definitely improved the lives of millions of people was the disposable nappy. They were invented by a woman called Marion Donovan. Her father and uncle were inventors and, when she had young children, she invented a nappy that you could use and then throw away. Before her invention, babies wore nappies made of cotton, like these. And this meant a lot of washing. Although she invented the disposable nappy in the 1940s, it wasn't until 1951 that an American company bought Donovan's idea. Today, millions of disposable nappies are used every day and Donovan's invention is now more eco-friendly. You can buy biodegradable nappies. And now another invention which has made life easier. The dishwasher was invented by a woman called Josephine Cochran in 1886. She was a rich American who gave a lot of dinner parties but she was annoyed that her servants often broke plates and glasses when they were washing up after a party. Oops. So, Cochrane decided to invent a machine which could wash a lot of plates and glasses safely. She said, if nobody else is going to invent a dishwasher, then I will. She designed the machine and then she found a company to make it. At first, only hotels and restaurants bought Cochrane's new machine. But today, the dishwasher is used in homes all over the world. <laughs> the car was invented by a man. But it was a woman, Mary Anderson, who solved one of the biggest problems of driving. On a trip to New York in 1903, Anderson noticed that drivers had to open their windows to see where they were going when it was raining. When she returned to her home in Alabama, she invented windscreen wipers, which made driving a lot safer. Our fourth invention made life safer for people living in flats or apartments. Video entry phones. They were invented in 1966 by Marie Van Britten Brown, a nurse who lived in New York. Her neighborhood was quite dangerous and Brown was often at home alone. So she decided to invent something that would make her feel safer. With the help of her husband, an electrician, she developed a camera that you could put by the front door. This camera sent a picture of the person at the door to a screen inside the flat. And there was also a microphone so you could talk to the person outside. If the person was a welcome visitor, you pushed a button to let them in. If not, you could push another button to contact a security company. This system is now common all over the world. And now an invention that has saved a lot of lives. The modern life raft was invented by Maria Beasley in 1880 and then improved in 1882. Before her invention, life rafts were just wooden platforms and many people died in accidents at sea. Four of her life rafts were used on the Titanic alongside the ship's normal lifeboats. When the Titanic sank in 1912, only 706 people survived. 
and nearly 200 of them were in the life rafts designed by Beasley. Our last invention is one of today's most important green technologies. Maria Telkas, a Hungarian-American scientist, worked at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the United States in the 1940s. She was so interested in the power of the sun that her nickname was the Sun Queen. In 1948, she designed the first house which was heated completely by the sun. The system worked for three years. The solar technology we use today is very different from Telkish's invention. But, like all our female inventors, she showed the world what was possible. And today, solar technology has the power to change our lives and save our environment. Number 1. They were inventors. Nappies were made of cotton. In 1951, an American company bought her invention. Number 2. Her servants often broke plates and glasses when they were washing up. The first customers were hotels and restaurants. Number 3. She got the idea in 1903 on a trip to New York. They had to open their windows to see where they were going. Number 4. She was a nurse. She lived in a dangerous neighborhood. Her husband helped her with her invention. You could push a button to contact a security company. Number 5. They were used on the Titanic. Nearly 200 survivors had used her invention. Number 6. She was Hungarian-American. Her nickname was the Sun Queen. In 1948, she designed the first house to be heated by the sun. Изобретено женщинами. Привет и добро пожаловать на Наука Сейчас или Science Now, это просто название передачи. Когда мы думаем об известных изобретателях, мы обычно думаем про мужчин, таких как Александр Грахм Белл, Маркони, но это просто имена. Так. Но многие из вещей, которые облегчают нашу жизнь, то есть make our lives easier, облегчает нашу жизнь или делает ее безопаснее сегодня, были изобретены женщинами. И на сегодняшнем шоу мы собираемся посмотреть на шесть таких изобретений, то есть на шесть из них. Одно изобретение, которое определенно улучшило жизни миллионов людей, это был одноразовый подгузник. Они были изобретены женщиной по имени Мэриан Донован. Ее отец и дядя были изобретателями, и когда она, ну, то есть, получается, когда у нее были маленькие дети, она изобрела подгузник, который вы могли бы использовать, а потом выбросить. И прежде чем она сделала это изобретение, или перед ее изобретением, получается, младенцы носили подгузники, которые сделаны из хлопка, по типу таких, ну, как было показано в видео. И это означало много стирки. И несмотря на то, что она изобрела одноразовый подгузник в 1940-х, это не было или, ну да, это не было до 1951 года, когда одна американская компания купила идею Данован. Сегодня миллионы одноразовых подгузников используются каждый день, а изобретение Данован теперь более 
так, дружелюбно к экологии, можно так сказать, экофрендли. Но мы тоже это слово используем. Вы можете купить биоразлагаемые подгузники, то есть которые разлагаются сами со временем. И теперь другое изобретение, которое сделало нашу жизнь легче. Посудомоечная машина была изобретена женщиной по имени Джозефин Кокрейн в 1886 году. Она была богатой американкой, которая ну, устраивала a lot of dinner parties, устраивала вечера или ужины для всех людей. Ну, имеется в виду, закатывала вечеринки. Но она была раздражена тем, что ее слуги часто ломали тарелки и стаканы, когда они, получается, отмывали все, ну, отмывали все после кухни, ой, после вечеринки, мыли это все дело. Так, упс. Итак, Кокрейн решила изобрести машину, ну, такое устройство, которое сможет помыть множество тарелок и стаканов безопасно. Она сказала, если никто еще не собирается изобрести посудомоечную машину, но ну, тогда я это сделаю. И она разработала машину, или разработала устройство, или ее спроектировала, и затем она нашла компанию, которая согласилась это произвести. Сначала только отели и рестораны покупали э, изобретение как Рейн, или как Рейн новый аппарат. Но сегодня посудомоечная машина используется в домах по всему миру. Дальше. Машина. Машина была изобретена мужчиной. Но это была женщина Мэри Эндерсон, которая решила одну из самых величайших проблем э, вождения. По дороге в Нью-Йорк в 1000, получается, в 1903 Андерсон заметила, что водители или водителям приходилось открывать свои окна, чтобы увидеть, куда они ехали, когда был дождь. Когда она вернулась в ее дом в Алабаму, она изобретела стеклоочистители. Вот эти устройства, которые очищают стекла на машине, которые сделали вождение намного безопаснее. Наше четвертое изобретение сделало жизнь людей безопаснее для людей, которые живут в квартирах, ну или, грубо говоря, квартирах или квартирах. Это просто два синонима. Video Entry Phones. Что это имеется в виду? Ну, по-нашему, это просто видеодомофоны, то есть домофоны, которые позволяют видеть, кто пришел. Они были изобретены в 1966 году э, вот этой вот женщиной, медсестрой, которая жила в Нью-Йорке. Ее район был довольно опасен, или вообще довольно опасный, и Браун была часто дома одна. Поэтому она решила изобрести что-то, что сделало бы ее... Ну, как бы, чтобы заставил ее почувствовать безопаснее себя. С помощью своего мужа, электрика, она развела, разработала камеру, которую вы могли бы положить или поставить около входной двери. Эта камера отослала, ну, получается, отсылала фотографию человека около двери на экран внутри квартиры. И, получается, там был также маленький микрофон, и поэтому, или вот с помощью него вы могли поговорить с человеком снаружи. Если человек был welcome visitor, то есть тот, кого вы хотите видеть, вы нажимали на кнопку, чтобы впустить этого человека. А если нет, вы можете нажать другую кнопку, чтобы сразу установить связь или контактировать э, с компанией по безопасности, ну, с охраной компании. И эта система теперь common, то есть эта система теперь общераспространена или просто в целом часто встречается по всему миру. И теперь это изобретение, которое спасло множество жизней. Современный, получается, надувной плод был изобретен Марией Бизли в 1880 году. Да, в 1880 году. И затем оно было доработано или улучшено в 1882. Прежде Прежде ее изобретения спасательные шлюпки были просто деревянными платформами, и множество людей погибли, например, в каких-то несчастных случаях в море. Четыре из ее вот этих вот надувных спасательных шлюпок были использованы в «Титанике» наряду с обычными спасательными шлюпками корабельными. Когда «Титаник» затонул в 1912 году, только... 700 человек, 
Так, 706 people, 706 человек выжили. И почти 200 из них, из выживших, были в тех самых спасательных шлюпках вот этих надувных, разработанных Бизли. Наше последнее изобретение... Так, наше последнее изобретение — это одно из сегодняшних самых важных... Ну, green technologies, зеленых технологий, имеется eco-friendly для окружающей среды. Вот эта вот женщина, то есть она и венгерка, и американка, ученая, работала в Массачусетском институте в технологии в США 1940-х годов. Она была так сильно заинтересована в энергии или в силе Солнца, что ее, ну, как бы кличкой было The Sun Queen, то есть Солнечная Королева. В 1948 году она разработала первый дом, который самостоятельно был отапливаемый и заряжался полностью солнцем. То есть, completely, полностью, heat, это как бы... Ну, здесь в этом контексте отапливаемый, наверное, солнцем. Эта система проработала три года. И солнечные технологии, которые используются сегодня, очень отличаются от изобретения вот этой женщины. Но... Так же, как и все наши женские изобретательницы, она показала миру, что это было возможно. И это было самое главное. И сегодня солнечная технология имеет силу менять наши жизни и спасать нашу окружающую среду. Вот такое вот, вот было видео. Непростое, но и не совсем сложное. Надеюсь, у вас все получилось. Идем дальше. And now let's look at your homework tasks. And... A test. Ten point four. Ten C. Pronunciation C. One. Fish and chips is an English dish. Two. This shop sells Belgian chocolate. Three. She showed me the shoes. Four. Which garage has a cash machine? Five. The cheese I chose was cheap.
What animal would you most like to see in the wild? For example, on a safari? Ooh, that's a really good question. Probably an elephant. Why? I think they're amazing. They're so big and just, I had this sort of live in the wilderness and yeah. Do you have a phobia? I'm frightened of spiders. How long have you had it? Uh, since I was about five or six, I think, but I'm not sure. How does it affect your life? Um, I normally have to check a room to see if there's a big spider in it before I go to sleep because one time a spider uh, joined me in my bed. Who's the oldest person you know well? My great aunt is 104, living in California. What kind of life has she had? She has had a great life. She's still traveling at 104. Do you do any sport or exercise? I run and I hike and I do yoga. Do you enjoy it? I love hiking, hiking is my favorite, and I just love being in nature and outdoors and experiencing nature on foot. Are you a morning or evening person? Uh, I'm a morning person. Um, I feel a lot more awake in the morning than in the evening. Um, so I tend to get up early, even when I'm not at, even the, even when I'm not at work, um, and I prefer to go to bed earlier. Начинаем с вами разбор юнита 10C, 10C, национальные изобретения. Нужда это Матерь всех изобретений, какой-то аноним сказал. Ну как нужда, потребность. Это матерь изобретения. Так, это была цитата, такая вот короткая сегодня. Начнем мы с вами с vocabulary people from different countries, люди с разных стран. Заполните табличку. У нас с вами слева страна, справа прилагательное, которое к этой стране, и люди, как называются. То есть Турция, получается турецкий, и сами турки. Так, Америка. Тут у нас как? Просто American. Такое вот прилагательное. И The Americans. Это у нас China. Китай. Chinese. Китайский. И The Chinese. Китайцы. Так, Swiss. Это у нас швейцарцы. Соответственно, прилагательное просто Swiss. Это швейцарский. Ну, а страна у нас называется Switzerland. Poland, Польша, Polish. Это польский. А люди называются так. The Poles. Немножко по-другому. То есть поляки. Это у нас Japan. Япония. Джапаниз японский. А люди сами называются у нас также абсолютно The Japanese. Японцы. Это у нас с вами Спейн, Испания, да, Спаниш, испанский, the Spanish, испанцы. Это у нас с вами Ireland, Ирландия, Irish, ирландский и the Irish, ирландцы. Ну, это у нас Russia, Russian, и люди здесь называются the Russians. Вот так вот, даже с эской на конце немножко выделяется. Так же, как Italy, Italian, ну и The Italians тоже с эской на конце. Итальянцы тоже выделились. Так, и Англи... да, Англия у нас. England, English, английский и The English, англичане. Так, вот такие вот вещи у нас здесь получились. 